today I'm doing, in honor of football season coming up, I'm doing a game day hairstyle. I think this hairstyle is perfect for game day because it's super casual, um, but it gets your hair out of your face, and I feel like during game days, a lot of the times, at least in the beginning of the season, it tends to be hotter, at least where I live, it's like super hot. Um, so I have my Boise Day shirt on because Boise Day rocks. And um, so I just think this is a super fun hairstyle, super cute, it's still, you know, makes you feel cute, but your hair is out of your face, you don't have to mess with it during the game, and you can just focus on the game. So, with that being said, if you guys want to learn how to do this hairstyle, just keep watching, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos, you don't want to miss out on any new videos that I do. Let's go ahead and get started. So, to get started, you're going to just split your hair evenly on both sides, and we're gonna, oh, tangle. <laughs> For me personally, I'm going to leave just a few pieces of my bangs out. I think it just makes the style look really cute. You don't have to. You can include your bangs. You can leave up more. Whatever you want, just do that. Um, so you're going to take a small section and we're going to start off with just a regular braid. I'm not going to do a Dutch braid. I'm just going to do a regular three-stranded braid adding in hair. Um, so this is going to give it a little bit more of a relaxed look and not so like 3D. So it'll just be a little bit more relaxed, which I feel like is perfect for game day. So take your little section, split it into three. And like I said, I'm leaving out my bangs right here. So split that into three and just start doing a regular braid. So I'll do my three strands, three crossovers. Then you're going to start adding in hair. You want to make sure that by the time that you reach the, like your neckline, that you have added in all of your hair, unless it, or else it's going to look kind of weird. So be conscious of that as you're adding in hair, because you'll probably need to start adding in more hair than you would think, just to get it all in. And make sure every once in a while too, if you have longer hair like I do, that you're just running your fingers through it so it's not getting all um, tangled. Make sure that when you're doing this braid that you are pulling um, it towards your neck because you don't want it to have like a weird gap like that. So I'm going to start to pull it towards my neck and then I will continue braiding all the way down. And so you don't get this little weird braid like I mentioned before. You'll want to make sure that you're being conscious of that and just brushing out those pieces. The braid all the way down to the ends and then you'll leave a couple inches out. That's how much I'm leaving out. And then you're just going to tie it off with a clear elastic. Clear elastic is best for this hair. Oh! The clear elastics I find are just best for this hairstyle just so that they're not so noticeable. So I'm just going to tie that off twice. As you can see here, there's a little like layer of hair that didn't quite get added in. Just I think it was a little too short. So I'm just going, if this happens to you, it always happens to me, I feel like. Um, I'm just going to kind of pull on this and just push it through there. That way, nobody will know. All right, do this other side real quick. Again, leaving out kind of the same amount of bangs and then take my small piece, cut it into three and start doing it again. <laughs> to make these as even as possible as for where I am tying them off. So now we're almost done so then we'll just start pulling out pieces and this is just going to loosen it up a little bit, make it a little more casual and give it a little bit more volume as well. You don't want to pull out too much up here because it might start to look a little crazy but you can pull out more and more down here. <laughs> If you're having 
having trouble pulling out your pieces, I would just loosen this elastic a little bit. Um, that tends to help me if some pieces are being stubborn to kind of loosen up a bit. All right, so this side is done. And then I'm going to pull out this side here. look I think this is so cute and so casual I hope you guys love it I hope that you guys can achieve it pretty easily and if it, you get messed up or whatever just rewind the video and keep trying because it's super easy once you get it so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it and I hope that you guys have an awesome day and I hope you guys have fun if you're going to any football games I think it's super cute for middle school high school college any kind of football game or any game in general it would be super cute to wear this hairstyle too so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye